Welcome to a new vlog. This is a weekend in my life in Seattle. I am currently at my boyfriend Ryan's apartment right now. I beat him home by about half an hour. So I went to my fourth Orange Theory workout of the week. Just got home from that, had a quick salad and some cheese. We're about to go out to dinner, but I was really hungry after the workout. This should be a fun weekend in my life. I'm doing a photo shoot on Sunday afternoon with one of Ryan's best friends. Um, I haven't done a male model kind of shoot in a while. I'm going to get ready to go. Okay, just showered. This Nivea in shower body lotion is the best. You just put it on and rinse it off. I love it, especially for times like this where I'm about to put on normal clothes and I don't want to put on a bunch of lotion because then it makes the jeans hard to get into. This is just the best. You can get it like Fred Meyer, typically on sale. So I'm gonna get ready to go to dinner. Like I said, I'm suffering from another allergic reaction. Lately, I haven't been able to go more than six days without a severe allergic reaction on my face. I feel comfortable going out and about here in Seattle because I have my booster shot. There's a new booster that's out that not a lot of people know about. This booster is the most efficient because it's targeting the actual variant that is currently circulating. As long as it's been two months since your previous booster shot, you are able to get the updated one. Pfizer is approved for 12 and older and Moderna is approved for 18 and older. I need to start getting ready. I'm gonna do a little bit more lotion because I'm currently uh, dealing with very dry skin from an allergy attack. This booster is going to protect against the Omicron variant, which is the most prevalent variant that the CDC is also expecting there to just be an increase over the winter time and sickness. The reason why we're not hearing a lot from politicians about this new booster dose is because there's not a lot of funding. They're holding back on the funding to make this publicly known. So the best way for you to be able to ensure that your friends and family get boosted is to tell them. So help protect yourself and those most vulnerable around us from getting sick this winter time. Go get boosted. If it's been two months since your previous booster dose, you are good to go. Remember that getting boosted is free and it's super easy to do. I'm gonna do my hair with this flat iron. I have noticed this trend and I'm so curious what platform it began on. I have a feeling it might have been TikTok. It's within vlogs where people are no longer putting music over these kind of clips where you're getting ready, you're making your bed, the person is preparing food, it's b-roll essentially. Instead of doing music, I'm noticing a lot of people are having just the actual sound but volume up or a microphone on volume up and it's almost like ASMR and then they're splicing it together. I've been having fun with it just a little bit in some of my vlogs. I think it's kind of satisfying. I think it's the ASMR part definitely, but I'm curious how others feel about it, especially other creatives. I have a feeling it's from TikTok because it's very minimal in TikTok right now. I, I feel like the style of content creation over there is the polar opposite of what Instagram once was, which was very curated, elaborate, planned out. I guess that's the same as curated, but you know what I mean. Whereas TikTok is here content, apparently I'm not on TikTok, um, but apparently like it thrives if it's more casual, if it's a little bit more minimal. And so that's why I think that that's why I think the trend came from TikTok because I could see people just having little like mini vlogs. I mean, I see this on Instagram Reels um, when people take the video from TikTok to post it on Instagram where it's no music, it's just the sounds of 
them going about the, their day. So that's why I think it's from TikTok, but I think it's really interesting. So I used to be a social media manager and I also had an in-house position doing like social media, the social media director. Um, and I just think it's still interesting to observe the trends. Obviously it's also relevant to my job now doing content creation outside of my job as a full-time photographer. So that's just something to think about. My hair is done. You can't really see it in this lighting and now it's time to do my makeup. Since I have this allergic reaction, I haven't put any kind of um, face wash or anything on. I guess tonight I will have to because I'll be taking my makeup off. I want to be extremely minimal with what I put on my face. So I'll probably just do a little bit of foundation and powder and then my eye makeup. I have this and I love it. I don't think I should use it. Just I need to be extra careful with my face. I have a fresh pot of this Anastasia gel. I love this so much. It's so good. This is my second pot. Uh, hey. I, uh, should I buy phone right now? Yeah. I just got outside. Yeah, I'm almost done with my makeup. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, do you have a place in mind yet or not? No, I don't. I have no idea yet. Oh, okay. Right, uh, I'll let me find maybe, okay, maybe sushi. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, you, I mean, I'll bike home and you can take a bike tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Right, okay, I love you, bye. By the time he gets back to the apartment, my makeup will be done. I actually am almost done with it. This stuff from Patrick Ta is so good. It's like cream and powder. Today I'm just gonna do powder. I didn't do any primer, any serum, anything. I'm gonna try to do no primer for a while and just maybe that's what it is, like my primer. I don't know, I hope not, because I love the primer that I use. But I have to like think of all the common like denominators here. I will do a bit of highlighter though. I love these little magnetic makeup palette things. You can scoop out whatever product you have for the most part and pop it in here. It's great for traveling. They make smaller sizes too if you want to do like your eyeshadows or stuff. Um, so then you don't have like all of these different compartments in your makeup bag when you're traveling. It just is so much easier for packing. It literally looks like a Casper the Ghost. Okay, Ryan just got back. Ryan, do you want to come here? Eyebrows do it for the vlog. Okay, Ryan is here, and I'm gonna do his eyebrows before we go. Actually, I've done a lot of my friends' eyebrows before. You are in the hands of a licensed cosmetologist. Can you fix this right here? Get it in my hair. Mm. Okay, I think that's over right now. And relax. Can you just relax this? Re relax. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. All done. And take a look, Ryan, of my client. <laughs> We're gonna go to about are we going to Ballard? Do you think? The same goal? <laughs> Wait, why do I look like okay mermaid? <laughs> like swimming in the ocean with my hair like this? Okay, blue. But the blue for the team to vote party. Okay, so we're gonna go now to eat and I'm gonna leave my camera here at home because it's a little I'm a little shy, you know, I'm shy. Why are you leave the camera? Yeah. Uh, also I just wanna use my Lululemon fanny pack. I can create the camera. Okay, okay, internship. <laughs> okay. Ryan, can you tell them what the plan is? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go eat pizza, this place in Cat Pill, and then we're gonna go uh, to Greg's house. Greg, you made the vlog. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we're gonna go to get pie after at a pie place. Place. We're gonna go and I'm gonna switch to my iPhone now because it does better in low light.
even though Ryan offered to hold the camera, which is so sweet. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're going to switch to iPhone. So come along with us. Woo! <laughs> Here it is. Vera Pizza. Hi! <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> Saturday morning, I'm with Ryan, and we're going to brunch at my favorite place to get brunch called Oddfellows up in Capitol Hill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Here's meow. Ryan. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Today is very nice out. It's in the 50s, so after Oddfellows, we're gonna go to the park, probably Discovery Park. And then the other thing that we need to do today is we need to go and get Ryan dress pants no. <laughs> and he's not looking forward to it. Um, but for Valentine's Day, we're going to a really nice restaurant and he needs to have proper pants for it. ready. And about? And it's so much colder. It feels like it was like 10 degrees warmer this morning. So we're just gonna go around Capitol Hill. There's a few stores I've always wanted to go into. Here's Ryan. And we're not gonna go to the park today, but possibly tomorrow and earlier. We're gonna go to one really cute vintage store. Let's go to that over place. Uh, the, the viewers were like it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go into Chop House Row, which is a bunch of different restaurants you can see. And it's like open air, it's really cute. Jess, I feel like you'd like the vibes in there. Gemini Room. <gasps> oh, that is cute. Oh my gosh, that's... Okay, that place was very, very, very cute. We might go back tonight. <laughs> Retro home. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Ooh, cute. Ryan, this is so cute. Little peanut.
This kind of looks interesting. Walking tour through 23 neighborhoods. Okay, we're walking down now from upper Capitol Hill, I guess, to the lower part to go to that really cute vintage store. I hope that it's still open. I've, it's been there as long as it's been. Oh my goodness, this little doggy. Look at how cute these blue shutters are. So, 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 so cute. And now we walk down the street. Look at how pretty this house is. It's very, very pretty. So it's just around the corner here. This is a really good Goodwill. So this restaurant here, Hotcakes, is so good. I think we've been to it in a vlog before. Yes, so it was the snow vlog. We went there, it's really good. Mm. Okay, so it is just down the street. It should be on the bottom of the street, I think. Yes, I can see it behind. This used to be a Starbucks here, um, and it's behind the Starbucks. It looks like it's open. I'm so excited. Mm. It looks so cute. Oh, and there's a furniture <laughs> store next to it. It's like mid-century. Mm. Here it is. It's called Pretty Parlor. Look at how cute. Let's see. Oh, it's fragrance free. Wow. Vintage Boutique. Let's see if it's open though. Yeah, it is. Wow, this is so cute, Ryan. Oh. Oh my goodness. So beautiful in here. This is cashmere and it's sixty dollars. So so cute. The way that is now my favorite store. It was so cute, mm. and everything was very reasonably priced. Reasonably priced for Seattle yeah, plus a vintage. A little dog is running around over there and there's a big selection. They also have a big range of sizes. So typically with vintage, it only goes up to a certain size and it's just not inclusive. 
but at that store they had a big selection of sizing and then it was vintage mixed with reproductions as well it's so much really cute accessories and it was just so well merchandised it was it was like love shack fancy but vintage it was so cute Which is your favorite? This one or this one? Vote below. We're now at U Village to get Ryan some dress pants. I believe I said that earlier uh, to go with one of his shirts for Valentine's Day. Um, we're gonna I go to J. Crew. I have a proposition. I'll say it to you on camera. What mm -hmm. if instead of me getting dress pants, I get like nice white shoes that go better with uh, these these type of pants? Oh, like a like a, a little bit like not because I always wear a Converse. Con like yeah, a so, leather shoe. Yeah, like a leather, leather shoe. tennis shoe. Okay, so I love I love Ryan's clothes because he <laughs> loves simple, but everything always fits him so well. So he has these I, they're like chino pants I think from J Crew, but they just don't you can't wear dress shoes with it cuz it looks funny and he can't and and they're only, nice only, pants but they're not dress pants I but they're only, nice. I only wear I only wear Converse. Yes. So my proposition is cuz I don't I don't want dress pants. <laughs> I don't want to dress that way. What if I get those like nice white leather shoes? And I think I'll look really good. A lot of people at work, they dress, like the, the people that dress nice at work, they like wear those white leather Let's shoes. Let's look at both options maybe. Okay. Let's okay. first, cause so basically it's like, he can't wear these to the restaurant. I could and. <laughs> well, in we Seattle can. we could actually, but no. Most places well. um, or, but they, these pants though don't work with dress shoes so that's the and predicament you, you would get i would get way more usage out of those white leather shoes and then like i would be like more excited to dress better because the dress pants i'm only gonna wear them this one time and no whenever we go out on like date though oh i can wear my nice white <laughs> leather shoes <laughs> <laughs> wait can i can i tell something so we you? will see what we will do can i tell something to, uh, yes so I my ankles. I like my ankles to be exposed. A lot of your heat is uh, like transported out from your ankles. I heard that from my cousin, so that's my source. Oh yes, it's true. It from your um, from your feet. Okay, here we go into J Crew. Sunday afternoon and Ryan and I are on our way to Ben Paris. All we have on the agenda for today is we are going to Queen Anne to do a photo shoot with one of Ryan's friends. We're going to photograph him for a video. Ben Paris, we didn't make reservations and it's very busy. We're gonna go to, we're gonna take this opportunity to go to a new restaurant we haven't been to but have passed by called The Heart and The Hunter. It's similar vibe. I've had friends who have gone and recommend it. So I'm excited to 
um, to go there. It's at the Poly Hotel. Is this the place? Yes. Okay, there's an outlet there, there's an outlet there, and then one on the floor. Two closets here that are like standard. went to the robot coffee we also went to a showing for a condo downtown they just happened to do an open house we are kind of interested in the building we took a look at that which was very serendipitous because uh, we've been kind of stalking the listings on Zillow and yeah they had an open house so we're gonna pop to Pike Place and then go back home grab my camera stuff and then head over to Queen Anne for the photo shoot. This is my best friend. And he's also my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, so we just filmed the video with Vivek, Ryan's friend. Here's Ryan. He's so helpful and supportive. And he's cool, so we have to go. Um, so we just did the full video. We did it before because we went to work with Ryan. Camera back on my camera. 
I'm just getting uh, my makeup off. I'm using this from Glow Recipe. It's a papaya enzyme cleansing balm. It melts off all your makeup. Now after this, I'd go over with a micellar water to like triple cleanse, but on days where I'm really tired and I just wanna get my makeup off and get to sleep, I can just get away with this and not even like moisturize my face because it leaves your face that moisturized. We went to Pike Place and I showed you that, but we came back home and then went over to Queen Anne and met up with Ryan's best friend and did a video tutorial with him. He was so gracious to be in a tutorial. We were so focused on getting the video done and we only had, we had very limited sunlight. So I didn't even think to vlog, but I'm really excited for that video. And I believe it's gonna go up in the month of March, like beginning of March. So it's going up soon. Queen Anne is such a beautiful place and we shot around Parsons Gardens in Cary Park which is like a very iconic lookout spot for Seattle where you can see the whole skyline. You can see the Space Needle and Mount Rainier. You can see a bit of West Seattle from it. It's so beautiful and fun and it was a great location. Super pretty over there. I, you know what? I have a New York City location guide PDF. I should make one for Seattle as well. Now, or maybe I could make like Maybe I should make just a video. I don't know. Do you guys want to see more Seattle based videos where it's like day trips from Seattle or like weekend in Seattle, what to do, what to do in the Seattle in the winter time, uh, different neighborhoods. We could even do like some of my favorite neighborhoods are Capitol Hill and Ballard. Queen Anne is also great too and do almost like neighborhood guide-esque. Now I would probably do it more in the sense of like if I had a day to spend in Ballard here's what I would do. Um, let me know because I think that could be really fun and I know Ryan would be really down to do that as well. Okay so I just took off all of the makeup and then I just go over one more time with my cellar water. Then I'm going to cleanse using the Kate Somerville. This is the Exfoli Kate Daily Foaming Cleanser. This is great, but it still works on very sensitive skin. And then I just ran out of my favorite moisturizer. This is also from Kate Somerville, and this is the Delicate. Look, I went in with a Q-tip and scraped it out. I could probably get a little bit more out of it, but not enough to cover my face. So I have been using, this is from Caudalie, and this is a new version of their Premier Crew. This is a rich version and it is so nice. It's really soothing, very thick and moisturizing. And what I really like about this and a lot of Caudalie products are that they are refillable. So you just pop this little pot out and put it in. Glow Recipe, which is the company where this is from, the cleansing balm, um, they also have a handful of reusable or refillable products as well. So I've been using this. I love this. I love the Caudalie hand cream too. This is so good. I think I have a refill though on its way. So a little bit of this. This Tuesday is Valentine's Day and I'm so excited. I have never celebrated Valentine's Day before with like a boyfriend because Ryan's my first boyfriend and I'm just so excited. Valentine's Day has always been my favorite holiday because it's pink and red, it's so cute, it's so jolly, but not in the sense of Christmas. It's just so happy, I love all the hearts. Hearts are my favorite shape, I just love it. And I'm really, really excited. I also love that it's like a midwinter holiday, so it's something to look forward to after Christmas as well. And I'm really excited to see what Ryan has planned. I know that we're going to dinner, and that it's like a fancy dinner, so we're gonna dress up. And I have the perfect dress, I got this one, dress from Aritzia years ago, like probably four or five years ago because I got it when I was living there in New York City. So I found this dress at Aritzia. I don't know like if it was on clearance. I don't know how I came about it, but I was like, I have to buy this. I didn't have an occasion for it, but you know when you see the perfect dress, you try it on, it's perfect. 
you just know the occasion's gonna pop up someday. So I've worn it several times. It's red, so it's perfect for Valentine's Day. It has like a wide neck and then it has sleeves on it. So it's also great for the winter time. It's a really thick knit and I recently had it taken up in the hem a bit. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I don't know how I wanna do my hair. Um, I don't know how I wanna do my makeup. I don't know if I wanna do a red lip or a magenta lip, but I'm really excited. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna do. I'll probably just do black heels. It's gonna be so much fun. I kind of considered so two vlogs ago last vlog i was sharing that ryan and i were doing like a couple photo shoot and i had this pink short dress with these big sequins well i ended up not wearing that for the photo shoot so i returned it but that would have been a fun valentine's day dress too but this one from um, aritzia is so great i love it and i'm really excited so that's what I'm going to wear, and with that being said, I'm going to end off this weekend in my life vlog so I can start a new week in my life. This upcoming week, I'm going to Portland, well, next weekend, so I don't know. I'll probably be preparing for Portland in the next vlog, so be sure to subscribe, and let me know if you would like to see more Seattle-related type videos, because I think that could be pretty fun. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.